What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I'm bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play campaign as Louisiana and today is Christmas Day or when this is being announced, or when this is being published so Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you all, hope you have a happy and safe Christmas and let's hope next year is probably a bit better than, well always hope that the next year is better than the one you've currently had because uh, why not want everything to go up and get better but in this episode we're going to be taking we're bringing Christmas cheer to Klausenberg and we're freeing them from the tyranny of the Ottoman Empire. So, they've got a, a fairly weak army. They don't have any, any top tier. <clears throat> they don't have any top tier um, infantry units. And their cavalry is... They've got some interesting units. The Wallachian, Wallachian Boyar. Boyar. Um, but it's nothing we haven't dealt with before. So let's take the city with George Suffren. We're, we are squeezing and squeezing the Ottoman Empire. I don't really think. Well, there's not. There, we don't. There's not a lot of episodes left um, in this campaign, but we are. We are going to endeavour to maintain the pressure and make sure we're always fighting towards that end goal. Um, yeah, Louisiana campaign is quite fun. I am going to put together a. Uh, I'm going to put together a. Um, faction guide, I think. So let's deploy our artillery to the rear. Because we have a massive line of infantry. <laughs> Again, this is part of the problem about having so few elites is that you end up creating units like, creating armies like this that have so little variety. So beware the Chasseur a Cheval. Mr. Suffren and another unit of Crassier are going to push the right flank. Just push up real aggressively. Let my artillery do what they want to do. Yep, see we need to push up aggressively because the otherwise this will put the put some Oh there we go. So they aimed at my cavalry. I made them they were walking, then I made them run. And I managed to avoid one set of quick climb at least. So maybe not push, maybe don't push right up because they do have some bad guys I'd like to shoot first, ideally, if possible. But the left flank is open. Oh, a massive block of enemy cavalry. Yes, please. You're aiming at the Bashis like you should be doing. I could, eh? <laughs> I could. I oh, know they're out of shrapnel range. Here comes another volley of horse artillery. The Bashi bazooks have been repelled. When these guys have fired their final volley, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to deliberately not make make my guys go into square until I have to, because we're getting so many shots off here. Eh, are we too close for quick climb? Definitely not too close for quick climb. Okay, there we go. You guys now all. Drop into square. Got some curacy air. Let's hit the Wallachian Boyar. Let's have a look at them. They're pretty cool looking units. But my curacy air gonna deal with them. Give my horse artillery new targets. mass route here. It's always nice to see. So these guys have, they have a choice. I'm going to continue to engage. 
Oh, they've actually dismounted off of their off of their horses to attack my square. It's not a terrible idea, but for the rest of the square, it will be. Chasseur a cheval engage the pikemen to try shatter them. Pick new artillery targets just to make sure we're still engaging a good spread. Actually, no, you guys advance up to there. My cuirassier will deal with these mamelukes in fine fashion. The enemy flank is broken. Charge the horse guards into the armed populace. Yeah, you guys hop into square again. Same with you guys. Although the horsemen are they're being engaged by some of my other units with flanking fire. The garrison have routed, but they've still got mortars. And they've done a lot of damage to my horse guards right there. <laughs> the enemy, they, they, they're gone. Almost bodyguard over here. Obviously, there's a garrison unit of Israeli that have come back, but they're out of range. Cease artillery fire. Get my infantry up here. It's the raw Mameluke guards, no less. Just run people up here. It's the enemy generals being killed. E men also charge in. Let's get a Chasseur Cheval out of this combat. E men charge in. Continue to actually maybe go and attack the raw Mameluke guards. These cuirassiers can come back and help them help my chasseur cheval out too because they are light infantry. Yeah, so we can have a one-on-one -on -one infantry battle until these feline musketeers can be sufficiently destroyed. You men get in here as well. There we go. This regiment of foot is also ready to engage the 37th. They are winning because they have more numbers. But that's soon to be a non-issue. These Feline Musketeers are shaken. No, 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 no. My mistake there. I accidentally dragged you guys into this. No, 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 no. There goes the Raw Mameluke Guards. So all of you set my cavalry, just seize it, just hold fire. The men are going to be fire well off while this unit runs through the line. Now they're fire at will back on. Now the 37 have been shattered. 
That is a routing unit. Good. <laughs> but there we go. Klausenberg has been secured by the forces of the Empire of Louisiana. We're on our way. So you men resupply, upgrade. These guys upgrade the infantry here. You guys could probably hit a couple of these units to chase away some of these drags. By the land, march. Ready and waiting. Oh, you can't yet attack Iceland. We're all put so next uh, in, on the next end turn phase. I'm hoping the Italians come after me and we can clear them out here. But the thing I do want to do is take Amadio Mortier. Or would I be better off with Ferdinand de la Flotte? Awaiting further orders at the ready. If I attack the city, it doesn't really matter because they're all going to come in anyway. Sir, your orders. Let's make sure these guys are as far up as they can be. Yes. Ferdinand might be this might be the the kingmaker. We attack Belgrade. And we're going to fight and knock back a whole bunch of Ottoman troops. Although it's only this one that we've got to worry about. We've got loads of enemy cavalry. But let's attack Belgrade, turn these Ottoman armies into pulp, and then well, continue our advance south into Ottoman territory. Fundamentally, we've been squeezing them tighter and tighter and tighter into the spot they're in. Where they can't actually, uh, they can't fall back anymore. There, they're done. <laughs> the troops they have either will be attrited into nothingness due to lack of funds, or they'll just squash them all together and say, no, you know what, we are. This is what we've got. This is what we have to fight. And this is going to be a hell of a battle. I have no doubt that we can we will prevail. Our first army may not survive the onslaught, although that's not a bad not a bad bit of terrain. We could get there's potential to get impacted by redeployments. So you want to deploy our infantry semi conservative, although we've got Okay, let's get a sharpshooter unit inside the town hall. I don't mind using um, I don't mind using uh, buildings to anchor my front line. These guys are going to be here. Well, actually, I might get my sharpshooters to deploy stakes in front of my guns, and then one unit's going to run into the buildings. Keep my cavalry back. How it's just focused on the armed populace, so the bulk of their troops are coming in on the right, which is interesting. Where's my unit of Western European mercenaries form a blocking force here? You've deployed your stakes again to the town hall. I'm going to wager that we will not have units coming in on the left, so you men can advance. These sharpshooters can also get over here onto the right. Oh no wait, we will. We do, I can see them. My mistake. Getting carried away. Yeah. So maybe these guns, without a clear target, focus on that 24 pounder howitzer unit coming in. You guys might be within range to... yeah, you're within range to shrapnel shot some of these Israeli. I mean, okay, yeah, they're out of range for their 
mortars to do anything to us. Hopefully these guns can knock out some of these howitzers while they're limbered up. There we go, there's one destroyed. Okay, Shrapnel shot the Wallachian Boyar because they are charging. They're still wavering. Oh, yeah, they, these guns might be focusing on doing counter battery for a while. Okay, they're routing so they can now focus on. The 46th. Oh wow, this they charged up real fast here. Okay, we want to keep shrapneling the Sipahi. Okay, these guys need to hit this mortar garrison unit because they're walking up to into range. See off another enemy cavalry unit, that's quite good. You guys try to take out some of those mortar crews. They're just going to get out of shrapnel range, but we might still get some of them. Apparently not. Switch to round shot. Re-engage the 24 pounders. I mean, I've charged my hussars in. That's a bad idea. Especially when we've got Curacier right here. There's more artillery on the right flank. Are they aiming at the town hall? They are. They're going to stay in the town hall while the enemy cavalry are nearby. These guys are taking a bit of a risky risky strategy in advancing so close. Raw Mameluke guards are advancing. I mean they probably won't make it to our line. Nope, there they go. So let's propel them. You guys engage the garrison Islamic swordsmen. Okay, Cal one quick climb unit hit that Sipahi unit. Okay, right, you guys actually go for that unit. You guys go for that unit. They're coming after us. They're coming after you guys, gunners. Okay, good, that's dealt with the enemy on this flank. Try shrapnel shot, because if it works, you'll get a load more kills. It's part of the reason why I've got a... Okay, good. Got a handful of kills. Canister shot should get a few more. Being engaged by scattered musket fire. You men engage the Firelock Arm Populous, you men engage the that unit of Isareli there. Get these sharpshooters off out of the building. Yeah, 
focus on that Sipahi unit, although that's actually quite a meaty unit of Sireli there. When they're close, we do have to kind of focus on the enemy units. You switch to round shot and engage. Ooh! That artillery is mobile! Engage, please! It's a big block of Israeli being knocked out from quickline there. Shrapnel shot the enemy cavalry once more. A hidden unit of Azar. I don't know if you. I don't think you can beat my infantry. Never knocked out any gun teams over there in the distance. The shooter Muslim will likely fall fairly rapidly. Enemy cavalry inbound. Blasted them with shrapnel shot, they didn't like that one bit. both folks fire those gunners again to be honest who's out out here azar right let's go much a ceasefire run my cavalry forward to knock out these azar potentially knock out that unit of guns in the distance if they advance any closer they're going to be within volley range from this unit of guards. Yeah, there they are. The ceasefire, so they don't kill a bunch of my own sharpshooters. The town hall is heavily damaged. So, throw my cuirassier forward. You men engage the mortar garrison crew here, who is still running around firing quickly out of nothing. And now they're within range of my actual line. One of my... the howards that's in range needs to focus fire them pretty... seriously. Enemy Sapahi unit understands what's going on. These gunners on the hill are going to engage them. Oh, my artillery is being engaged by canister shot. I oh, know by artillery fire. I bet that's you up on the hill doing that. trying to chase us down but at least they're tired they're very tired and we're just tired killed five sepai with a long range artillery shot that's pretty good they're broken so get out of here we're going to take a bunch of damage from the initial charge Run. So these guns all. Well, they can't engage the 25th. They can engage the Mamelukes, though. Recall my. Horse guard. 
See, we're just tired, they're very tired, so we should be safe. Hey, I missed the uh, Abashi Bazook charge. I suppose these guys are fire well off, that didn't help. Canister shot that Israeli unit. They are chasing us down. We'll be okay. Well, bombardment still upsetting this 12th regiment very well. Shrapnel shot that unit of Sek Ban Janissaries to the rear. Miss. Okay, so the Sepahi are going to chase us down. I want to run my cavalry directly through my square because if they chase us. Then they'll be running straight into a square. My sharpshooters are going to stay hidden until they crest the hill. Then we'll give them a volley. Pick your targets! There we go, as they've charged down the hill towards us seen them off. So let's bring our mass our cuirassier on this flank so I can then start to push and focus on this block of men coming up here. Get one unit to try quick climb those semini. Mortar garrison look like they've been routed. Focus the riskers of souls. There's a unit of janissaries coming in. This artillery is still maintaining their position. General's bodyguard is going to get shot to pieces. The Janissaries are upset. Throw my cuirassier in to smash the Semini so I can then reform my line more like this. My artillery finally broke in the centre. The Semini are confident. Good for them. My heavy cavalry wants to say hello. Granted they are tired so they're probably going to do less damage on the charge but... Okay let's re retarget Oh, how it says quickly. Because they have, these guys were a quick climb target. Pivot our guns. Hey, our gunners have returned. That's right. Pick your gun back up. My, I'm going to send some hussars in to take out that mortar crew. Because they are really doing a number on us. My counter quick climbing doesn't seem to be working, so let's just use Ah, oh, there is still units coming in from over here. Nuts. Their their skirmishes are about to get engaged by our skirmishes. My, <clears throat> my guns are pivoted. The 
so many are going to collapse. Oh, these guys, they're routing, but they're not even going to leave the field of battle. So now I'm going to permanently be a man down. Ah, oh, and these guys, however... Actually, bazooks are good, but they're not unbreakable. Especially when they've just uh, they've gone from steady to wavering pretty rapidly. Still wavering. My hussars are oh, I, it's because I charged them in, but didn't actually do anything with them, because I'm a dum dum. My hussars are really helping, though. Push on into the Semini. You men can all engage. You guys, it's really frustrating you guys can't actually hit the artillery all the way at the back, but if you guys keep engaging, well, you can hit. An or the organ gun, at least, that's something. Smash back into the Semini. Reform the line. Is the Semini broken. Hopefully I can shatter them pretty easily. There we go. There come our reinforcements. It's a general's bodyguard. I require no reinforcements from a general. Thank you very much. My line is moving forward. No, you guys go away. Let's advance my skirmishes up to pick at the 38th. It's not the most efficient deployment of troops I've done. Will you guys stop or will you advance forward? You'll stop. Very well. I can... Oh no, they've advanced. Oh well. Continue to push up. Got enemy cavalry, friendly cavalry coming in, I should say, not enemy cavalry. I actually switch both these guys to round shot. The one with the longer range engage the feline advancing in. You men get engaged the weaker unit of Bashi Bazooks. You men have marched into position. Now you're going to open fire onto the 38th Regiment. Oh, god damn it. Don't tell me that's when... That's, I've got a load more guys coming in. Well, first of all, let's let the, gen, let's let the General's Bodyguard continue to run. because they're actually getting ahead of their Janissary Grenadiers. And then we can counter charge. Mm. 
Mercenaries get down here. Sharpshooters can stay up on the hill. You men pull back. Let's rejig our line. These men are going to stay only for as long as necessary to knock out the general's bodyguard. Pahi have been broken. God, the heck, they've still got plenty of cavalry coming in. Get back on the quick climb. Okay, there goes enemy, Janus, enemy general's bodyguard. We haven't killed the general. But that's still a good outcome. Okay, it's really annoying that this artillery unit isn't routing. ready and engage the 38th Auto. Charge my weakest units into the front of the Janissary Grenadiers and then my Curassier, this unit of Curassier are going to go around the flank. You men fall back. I mean, you have chosen literally the worst direction to route. In terms of my other units, my ammunition situation is looking fairly healthy. Musketeers, Nizam infantry. Okay, I need to pull my line back to the guns, I think. Where I can use their special shot to my advantage. We've killed that Janissary Grenadier unit, so we're going to fall back here. These units are going to fall back as well. The only unit that's going to stay is these two units in square. Sapahi sense the withdrawal. You men form square. Yeah, the enemy sense the, the weakness. Pikemen are charging in. Now you guys keep running. Run for the hills. You men shrapnel shot attack ground here. That should help clear out some of the enemy Sipahi. Because the square is holding. Where's my weak units of Curassier? Let's make them fall back. To try and bring in some better troops. Okay, now I think is the time to do it. If I'm going to do... Pull some of these units back, now's the time to do it. You're about to get caught out. These men are going to sacrifice themselves. As are these men, to be honest. Really need some more troops. Oh, good. One of the gunners is did actually run away. Good, 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 good. 
Okay, don't really need any more artillery. Thank you very much. Nor uh, General's bodyguard. Okay, quick climb needs to mass attack the left flank. This unit needs to retreat. I mean, I'll take cavalry. Because it's good cavalry, but we've still got plenty of men coming in. Maximize the quick climb fire on the flank, you guys. Infantry, finally! Unit of infantry, good, 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 good. Get up here. Quick climb annihilated that unit of musketeers. Pull back to the reverse of this, to this slope here. Keep the quick line firing on the left flank because that's where the the biggest concentration of enemy troops is. Oh no, it would be useful to have another infantry unit here, especially as you're coming in from that direction. And this unit's going to come in on the left. Keep opening up on the enemy. You men, you men hit the Nizam. The unit of Crassier also get involved. Ooh, okay. Hit the Semini, hit the Nizam. I only lost seven men in that quick line. That's pretty good. Hit the 35th. They've been smashed. Charge on to the Feline Musketeers. Engage the enemy into the front. The men charge on into the Feline Musketeers, knocking them flying. Continue the wave of cuirassier charging. There they are wavering. It's another unit routed. Shattered human regroup. blasting the 6th, you're blasting the 11th, another full unit of infantry is advanced, so push up to begin firing. How is the ammunition doing for most units? You're pretty, pretty out of it, but you're not done. Start to try and knock out some of the enemy um, infantry units. Well, the artillery units. Sorry. Some of our guys are taking the a long the long way to retreat. So 
these guys, I'll make these guys walk to get some energy back. You guys run to get past the feline. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's. They, I think that's the end of them. I'm pretty sure they are. They are done. So I want two units to attack this back corner because we've got a cavalry unit plus an artillery unit. Switch to canister shot, hit the 11th. They're going down. There they go. Line infantry guards coming in, so let's push them into here. Although some of these guys have only got about a volley left. Pretty sure that this might be it. The end game. Infantry Petit Vieux. Getting into position. To be honest, let's two, use two units to knock out these riskers of souls. It's Curassier likely. Well, they're, they're a weaker Mameluke unit. They're down to about half strength. Quick climb hit the Sekban Janissaries. Smash into these Riskers of Souls. Looks like they don't really want to fight us. Understandable. But it looks like that is the end. We've managed to withstand the enemy attack. So let's take these two units and push up against the Feline. run our cavalry away because it looks like they want to skirmish us towards us in a situ towards a situation where we have a lot more uh, melee infantry to fight than we would want this 24 pound of foot artillery isn't even firing Turn it around to re-engage the Riskers of Souls. It's funny where they run after us, then as soon as we charge them they go, uh oh. Halt fire. No, actually quick climb the right flank. So this unit up on the hill. Charge down into the Mamelukes. You men pursue and destroy the Riskers of Souls. Then pursue the Sekban. Let's cease artillery fire. Let's let one unit continue to attack the Riskers of Souls. The artillery here is likely going to rout. So let's focus on them first. units. Canister shot the Feline Musketeer. You men run away then. If they're just going to advance towards our line. You men attack the Mamelukes who look like they want to skirmish away from us. This unit of Feline Musketeers are nearly... Okay, they're all gone except for this unit of Mamelukes here. So let's speed up time. We know the, the outcome of this action. 65 cuirassiers versus 30 odd Mamelukes. But there we go. The enemy has been pushed away from our lines. Close victory. It wasn't close. It was a bit dodgy, but we were able to reinforce and 
bring in fresh troops at a better rate than they were, and they lost eight and a half thousand men. Curacier done well. Garrison guards, Curacier, line infantry. Yeah, good stuff. So, let's push a couple of these big stacks back out of the territory. We've secured Belgrade. There we go, the city is ours. Let's upgrade the Pasha's Palace. Let's replenish. You might get some... Well, you don't really need a regulars, you need infantry. Um, so where's the best place to get regular infantry from? Probably Vienna. Just recruit a unit of engineers because we've got that unit that can be recruited. So you're all replenished. You guys, Thomas Nipis, your armies are they're depleted slightly, but not ever so much. None of these guys can really engage. Not collectively as a force. Well, you guys could. Amadieu and Mortier. But no, I want to try and give them some time to not regroup, but I'd like them to combine their dribs and drabs into a full army. It'll make it easier to defeat. Plus we've got lots of other troops that need to be need to move anyway. Hopefully Mr. Merle, can you leave Patras? You can. You can take a position up front of Athens. Poltava is being destroyed. Elat is being destroyed. Good. Let's hit end turn and let's see what happens. We may end up fighting an Ottoman force near Baghdad because that appears to be all they're able to do. But yeah, I want them. I want the Ottomans to combine their armies. That would be combine their armies. I should say that would be an ideal scenario. Especially as it looks like they are falling back hard towards the capital. Okay, this is this might that might take a couple of turns. The idea would be to send maybe three armies in, kill as many as they can, probably lose, then send in another. I mean, you can raid me as much as you like. You're not going to you're not going to change the price of fish. Ooh, no, Mr. De La Flotte does not want to intercept. No, 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 no. But Amadio Mortier does. Yes, he does want to intercept. And that'd be um, won't be a massively long battle, but just a second, everyone. I'm going to go quickly nip to the loo. So, just a second. And I'm back. Very unprofessional, I know. Um, but we're going to take this force and destroy this really quite small army. I up, my, f my first army outnumbers them because most of, their, most of their units have been absolutely smashed. So let's intercept these two forces and clear out Serbia for good. Um... But with the sheer amount of troops that the Ottomans are likely going to bring to bear around Istanbul, I will have to accept I will not be able to destroy them all within an hour, most likely. Which means if I attack, I will lose. And that means that, say if they only get three armies in the fight out of eight, they'll all get smashed. So... I really do need to kind of create like a, a first wave, go in, kill as many as you can, then die. Second wave, send in, kill as many as I can, and then they'll die. Third wave, send in as many as I can. That's how you have to end up treating these truly gargantuan, gargantuan battles. <gasps> I didn't know this was going to be a river battle. Well, this is just made it even better. No artillery is going to sit by the crossing because their army is tiny there is a chance that we might have some troops deployed on our side of the the river to deal with so that's why i'm going to have a big block of men ready and all my cavalry deploy deploy my one water team power to team near the crossing
Let's get some cavalry over there. This first army doesn't have any... doesn't have any um, artillery at all to worry about. So it's there. It's a 55... Ah, oh, they've lost some of them. The Sipahi have lost some of their men. Oh dear, oh dear. So the first volleys are going off. I don't know whether they'll make it. They're going to try it. The lances are dipped. Ooh. Will they make it to our line? No. Now they're going to take a lot of damage. Routing units take so much more damage. I'm going to get my artillery just to focus on their artillery as it comes in. I'm not bothered about using it to attack their troops because it's just completely not necessary. And this unit of Sapahi, well, obviously it might have some staying power. It's actually two units stuck together, so... Bash. Yeah, the 22nd will take that 22nd that's quite low 7th is quite low oh I suppose it's colonial infantry not can they recruit regular line infantry from their territories and there's our rifles have pushed up and another unit of Sapahi this time there's only 16 of them 15, 14, there's 4 here. Let's see how well these guys get on. Through the trees, they've they've made it. They made it to the line. Hit the rifles, because they might now have fallen. Well, they're not, they're not quite out of range. Still engaging the enemy artillery. They do have a fair number of guns. Hello. General's bodyguard trying to cross the river. You lucky bastard. You need a Muslim trying to cross the river. I can't imagine things will go terribly well for this chap, this set of units. The colours are flying high, the officers in command. Oh, the officer's down. Nope, I don't like that one bit. <laughs> so the general's been shot off of his horse over here on the bridge. I mean, he, the unit might be destroyed completely if they don't watch out. There they go. That will speed things up somewhat. Okay, right. Need to be a bit careful here because they're now starting to fire across the river. They've worked out <laughs> that they can they can fire across the river. Some Wallachian boyar and Nizam pikes. These guys going to try across. They've lost most of their men. No, didn't think so. I think we destroyed that artillery unit. Yeah, we did. I know, it's just hidden. To be honest, we could probably just take more of these men and just create a battle line to push against this entry point here while the troops here annihilate men crossing the river. Give them some support. Look at this hero! I'm not in fast forward mode, he's on it, he is off. I need a hero! What's alright, what's he gonna do when he hits the river? 
Is he going to swim? Or is he just going to run through it? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think so. Yeah, this force was never going to make it across the river. Never in a month of Sundays. Watch these brave pikemen. Again, they've still got their officer. First volleys are thrashing home. Nope. He's he's made it with his snazzy trousers. Yep, yeah, these guys are done. Crossover. Cross over the river. Oh, okay, it's because they're stuck on the bridge. Okay, so let's line up. Let's speed up time because really happening. These Sipahi look like they're going to charge. Well, I think they're Sipahi. Wait, who charged in here? Actually, Bazooks. Well, it says they're winning slightly, but I don't think they're going to get through us all. So who's stuck here, then? Right, it was group physic. It was, it was like gr grouping, screwing it up. And let's bring these cavalry units to bear. Daddy horsemen are coming forward, probably to skirmish. So I'm pro I am going to lose more men than I would need to doing this, but I mean, at least I could just put some pressure on these men in the corner. They're not going to break through this unit of line, not with the, the artillery support they've got. As we reload, the Delhi horsemen are gone. There's a Bashi Bazook unit that's Stealthily advancing along with the Zars. So you men reload. As there's no cavalry units, you should focus on. Oh, you did hit the Bashis. And these Riskers of Souls are upset as well. Cavalry advance quickly. A Wallachian Boyar. See, they've got um, they've got a uh, howitzer over here. Don't worry, these men are going to slam the door shut on the enemy reinforcements. That's for darn sure. So artillery, focus on that lone howitzer. This howitzer can't really do anything. Just stop the howitzer from firing, it's not going to do anything useful. These men are going to pour a volley into the sec bands. There they go. They're falling rather handily. There they go. Advance! Curious, yeah, don't just stand there. Just retarget. It's just all a bit messy, just because of the 
the amount of small units there are on the field. Can you men actually attack the the boyar? Let's try and annihilate them. You men advance. There goes the there goes the howitzer. Charge the twenty-four pounder. All my artillery engage that unit of Israeli. You men all gang up on the Bashi Bazooks because they'll probably do a number on my um, Fusiliers. Yeah, my Israeli unit is also upset at what's going on behind it. So they're there looking, okay, there's guys to our front we've got to take out. But everyone else is going, no, nuts, there's so many. There you go, General's been knocked out. Okay, you guys hold fire. So let's do a bit of chasing. Just because there are so many units on the field and they're all fairly close to the routing point. There's a cavalry unit that we've not got a good shot at, but because they're cavalry they'll route pretty quick. Here, yeah, there we go. So that's the Delhi Horsemen. Let's get my cavalry through the line and then give them a bit more encouragement. Oh no, they're definitely going to route, okay. But still there's only six of them. Decisive victory, damn right. So again, I probably didn't need to advance over the bridge, but yeah, otherwise it would take forever for them to walk diagonally across their entire deployment zone to get to our to get to the Ford. Oh, just a second, everyone. Apologies for dashing off, everyone. And when I say uh, I think that's me, um, it, me it usually means the, the doorbell's gone. Uh, gone off and I am expecting a delivery which I was it was a delivery of food and shopping which has since been collected and it looks like we have been intercepted by a small Ottoman force I'm gonna water resolve it because just to get rid of them just to maintain the offensive I mean I, I have no burning requirement to make sure all of my troops are replenished all my armies replenished right now so I can I can accept the loss of an excessive amount of troops. Ooh, we have our first Italian sally, and this will be... I wonder how this is going to go down. So we are naturally going to fight this, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the first battle against the Italian states. Cheers, everyone.